And as you can all see, it says, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. The key there is leads to destruction. And then the next part of the verse, it says, There are many who go in by it, because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and hereafter few who find it. So, in our life, when we start off our life, we make many choices. And for the period of time, we go through and we're building things. We're building our life. We're deciding here uh, how we're going to live. So we come along and we start building this, this uh, way, I guess, for lack of a better term. And we go along and we start building it up one piece at a time and make decisions. Who are going to be our friends? We make decisions. Who are, or what are we going to do with our life? We make decisions, and sometimes we're building the right way. And then we decide, you know what, who we're hanging around with maybe has an influence on us. So we come along and we start building this other way. So as we come along here and we build this other way, slowly but surely, we construct, we construct this other avenue. This other, as that scripture verse says, gateway. Yeah. And we build it up and build it up. So we got two things going on here at the same time. One is a narrow way, as you can see, and one is a wider way. Unfortunately, as the word says, you cannot have two masters. So one becomes undone and sits there. Meanwhile, the other one gets all your attention. And it's a wide way. It's a way many build. And so you get this huge gateway. And you get this gateway over here you've left out. And so as you're going along and living your life, you start to do things in a wide way. Maybe small, but it's lying. And you can take this lying and you can walk through this way, no problem. And you think, hey, no big deal. I can do this. However, let's just say you're going along, and we'll leave lying right here. And you're going along and you decide, well, you know what? I think I'm going to change my way and I'm going to do something a little bit different. So you go along and you say, all right, I think I'm going to come back over here and finish off and build this way. So you, you hear about the, the good things. You hear about the, the right things. Somebody mentors to you. And so as you go along, you build this narrow way. <laughs> and you have this narrow way built. But again, you got this other thing, other thing over here that is really pulling you and it really has your attention. So you do a little bit of this, maybe even a little bit of stealing, you know, something from school, cheating on a test. Oh, but it's cheating. Oh yeah, okay, so cheating. Small things. And it's acceptable through the wide way. Many people will allow this to go through the wide way. However, when you try to go through the narrow way, Unfortunately, they're attached to something. Huh. And it's called sin. That's good. And so, when you try to go the narrow way, you may be able to make it through, but as long as you have, you can't make it through with sin. Yeah. These little things may be able to make it through, but because they are associated with sin, there's no way they're going to come through. Mm -hmm. So you have to make the decision. What are you going to do? Well, everybody knows about Lying, cheating, and stealing. And my structure doesn't want to stay fit. There we go. Maybe. So, all right. We won't worry about that. We know. Actually, Josh, if you go to the very last verse, keep going down. Exodus. Oh, what are these? These look like the Ten Commandments. So keep going down. I am the Lord your God. 
go down to about the eighth one. Six to eight, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right here, stealing. I mean, we know it's clearly written in the Bible that you can't steal. So, all right, well, let's don't worry about that. Let's just put that off to the side. So then, wow, this is a pretty one. I like this color. Well, what's associated with this? Well, it looks like it says lust, sex, and adultery. Again, the world has no problem with this. There's television shows, there's movies, uh, there's all kinds of soap operas and all that stuff that make this acceptable. Everybody can go through with this. But again, with the word, Josh, if you go back up to a couple of scripture verses, it is considered sin. So we try to go through. We can sort of get through, but not quite really. We can't make it. We can't carry these with us. Because it says right there in the word of God, you can't carry those with you. So let's go ahead and let's even eliminate that. Let's talk about some other things. Oh, here's one. Hmm. What would this one be? Let's see. It's kind of brown in color. Let me see what I would put on here. Hmm. Got a word coming up. And what's that word say? Can anyone read it? What's it say? Faith. No? Football. It says football. Hey! Is there anything wrong with football? Everybody loves football. So, all right, well, in one sense, Don't football is great. But do it. if it is associated with, let's go ahead and do something else here. If it's associated with, let's add to this one. Talking about greed, 